Hey everyone, in this video we're going to be looking at a foam gun, we'll even talk about foam cannons a little bit as well, and find out if they're really worth it. We'll talk about some of the positives and negatives, talk about some of the best practices, and we'll just put it into practice and see how it works out. And we'll do this all right now on Nexus Auto. Well first, let's address the difference between a foam gun and a foam cannon. Foam guns are just kind of easier ways to get your car washed um, versus just using a regular bucket and everything like and uh, you know putting car wash into your bucket using a two bucket method whatever you're doing it's just supposed to make it a little bit quicker but it doesn't add any other um, values to it in the sense of what a foam cannon does I'll get to that in a second but all it does is supposed to you know make your job a little bit easier instead of having the buckets you attach the foam uh, gun to your hose and then you just spray on the soap, the idea that you don't need the bucket, the soap is going right on there. You use your mitt, you kind of wash everything down, uh, sorry, scrub everything off, and then you rinse off afterwards. Um, it's supposed to make the job a little bit easier, but it still follows the same rules of washing your car. You know, you want to make sure you're rinsing out your mitt as you go. You don't want particles stuck on that that you may scratch your paint. You want to make sure it's a cool day or uh, you're under shade or anything. You don't want the sun on that because it'll bake on the, the soap from the foam gun. And, uh, uh, yeah, so that's, that's it's pretty much just a, another way to wash your car. Now, a foam cannon is a lot better. Uh, it does, um, you know, it, the, the suds are a lot heavier. You get a big, better spray off of it. Um, I'm not going to be using a foam um, cannon in this video. I'm just going to show the foam gun just to show an idea of what to look at. But the method, although, again, you're using a pressure washer, um, and you're kind of spraying everything down, hooked up to your pressure washer. It's heavier suds. It helps break off some of the gr uh, the grime and everything. That helps lift off a lot more, actually, if you have a good quality foam cannon. Um, and, uh, of course, you have the pressure from the pressure washer, so you're getting kind of a, a much stronger um, uh, spray than you would off of a foam, foam gun, right? Um, but, of course, you need to have a pressure washer. You need to have all that sort of stuff to do it. That's not for everyone, right? Not every person is going to have that. So if you don't have a, a pressure washer, then you can go look at just going with a foam gun. But is it really worth it, or would you rather just use the two-bucket method? Um, so that's what we're going to look at right now. We're gonna, I'm just going to hook up a regular store-bought um, foam gun that I got. And we're going to spray it on, see how it works. I mean, same thing. I divide the car up. I do the top of the car and everything like that first. Then we'll move off to the sides. And, uh, and then you do the top half, and then you work to the bottom half. Uh, so same rules apply is just a matter of then you, you're kind of hope hopefully the idea is that you're eliminating the bucket making life go a little bit quicker uh, so we're going to show that right now and and go from there all right so we're about to get started now but a few things to mention before we do uh, first you'll notice i've already done some of the car i've done the wheels now if you haven't watched already i did have a whole series a whole long series check my playlists on uh, cleaning your rims all sorts of different ways all sorts of different things you can do Take a look, see what works best for you. But I always say, whatever you do, make sure you get your rims done first. There's lots of reasons in the video to check it out. So I've done the rims. I've also done the top of the car. I thought that'd be kind of awkward to film. So I already did the top, so that's the roof, the windshield, and the hood. If, the, if it's a car and it has a trunk, I'll do the trunk as well. So now, best thing to do when you're doing the foam, uh, using a foam gun or a foam cannon is to find a, a method that works for you. Find what works best. For me, I find doing the rims first, uh, then the top of the car, you soap, use your mitt to scrub off, and then uh, rinse off with water. Then I come up with an imaginary line, depending on the car. Some cars will have a side molding that I can work off of. In this case here, I'm just going to go from the top of one wheel arc to the top of the other there, and that's kind of my line. And you do the top half of the car all around, and then you do the bottom half of the car all around. Part of the reason for that is because of how much dirt gets hit with the bottom of the car versus the top so you'll see there even now looking at this car as an example it seems pretty obvious when you think about it but a lot of people don't realize that when you're washing your car how much it plays but you can see how much dirtier the top is oh, sorry the bottom is versus the top so that's why um, you know you kind of make that line and do the top first and go all around and then you do the bottom you'll also notice in the top uh, bottom left corner sorry that I do have a bucket with my mitt because although you'll need a mitt regardless, using a foam gun or even a foam cannon won't take everything off one shot. You still need something to kind of take off the dirt. But if you just go ahead and keep using that mitt across the whole car, especially for example one with a lot of dirt like this, what you'll end up getting is um, 
you'll end up with all that dirt getting in the car, uh, in the mitt, and then you're spreading it all over the car. And also, if it's like a heavier dirt, even dirt like what you see on here, there's particles inside and that can scratch up your paint over time. That'll really show swirl marks and hologramming and stuff. You don't want to do that. So although you're using the foam gun, don't think of it as a complete replacement. You still want to have at least one bucket with your mitt. Think of this as replacing one of your, um, uh, one of your buckets if you don't have another bucket available. If you're really in a pinch and don't have a bucket, then just make sure that you're using water to rinse your mitt as you go. So this is the can, uh, uh, sorry, the foam gun I'm using. Uh, now you'll notice on here, it's got an H2O and a mix. There you go. So when you're using the water, for example, if you really need to, you put on the water and you rinse out your mitt as you go, and then uh, and then you keep going on along with your 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 foam uh, gun, uh, sorry, foam gun, foam cannon, anything like that, and just keep moving along and cleaning as you rinse your mitt. But if you get a bucket at least with your mitt, it makes it easier, and you'll see why in a bit. And last thing to mention very quickly before I get started, now normally, as I mentioned, uh, now I've already done the top of the car as I mentioned before, I've already done the wheels, that's already done. Uh, normally, again, I do my imaginary line and go all around the car. For the purpose of this video, because I'm sure you guys don't want to see me do the entire car, it'll be kind of a waste, pretty, pretty straightforward. I'm only going to do one side, so I'll do the top of the car, and then I will do the bottom of the car, and you'll see it as I go. Same method, but you want to apply it for the entire car around, okay? Notice I start, started spraying from the top, and that's just because it wasn't way down. Always constantly rinsing the mitt as I go. Back over to mix at the bottom. Again, getting our mix.
again rinsing off. Now, you see how quickly I got one side of the car done? You'd have obviously go here now and dry. Um, obviously, after you do the whole car first. But you see with the foam can, it, elim it eliminated the need of putting the soap in, having to reach down into the bucket, get the soap, come back up, a lot of up and down, up and down motion, things like that. This kind of eliminates all of that. Now you just use your foam gun, foam can, and spray down. Use your, your uh, bucket, your mitt, soap, uh, kind of scrub everything down. And then after you do the entire car, you dry off, do a little bit of detailing, glass cleaning, tires, rims, whatever you're doing, and you're done. It saves a lot of time. So that's the purpose of this. Don't think of it as a lot of people I've seen even ask me, oh, does this completely replace your, um, your uh, mitt and your bucket and everything like that? Professionally, no, it doesn't, right? You don't want to do that because, again, if I show you, you just spray this on and leave it, You're not really taking care of all the dirt underneath. If you look really closely, I don't know if you'll catch it, you'll still see all the water spots that are underneath there. You know, there's still a lot of dirt, the soap is kind of covering up, but if it dries like this, it'll leave, uh, even if you rinse it off, here actually let's rinse it. You can still see all the water spots there's still a lot of dirt there and everything like that and as you can see as it dries off it doesn't have the same sheen and shine that's over there still very much dirty so you still need your mitt and I do recommend having a bucket as well only way to get this job done properly but it will certainly save you some time and uh, make life just a little bit easier and keeping your car quick and getting car uh, cleaned quick and easy thank you all very much for watching I hope this video has helped you out here today now let's go through some of the YouTube stuff, shall we? Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe if this video has helped you out. And if you want to see my future videos, I try and put out one at least once a week. Make sure to hit the notifications as well, just so you can get those videos. On the flip side to that, if you didn't like the video for whatever reason and you do dislike it, not a problem. Feel free to leave it in the comments of why you disliked it, whether it be something I did wrong, whether it's something you didn't like in the video. By all means, just let me know so I can keep making the best content possible. It's kind of the whole point of it, so make sure to do that. Speaking of the con uh, comments, um, if you have any questions, concerns, anything you want to add on, anything you see you can do better, anything that maybe you add on and it actually is worse, whatever it is, feel free to leave it in the comments, nothing wrong with that. I always try and answer whenever I can, it may not be the same day, next day, whatever, but I try and answer all comments, so make sure to leave that as well. Once again, I want to thank you very, very much for watching the video, and I'll see you next time.